welcome to this mobility site, a video first look. Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Chris Likeness, MobilitySite.com, and I have the Touch Diamond 2 with an official Windows Mobile 6.5 ROM. This is not one that's cooked on one of the sites that uh, allows that to happen. This is uh, only going to be my second encounter with a, an official Windows Mobile 6.45 uh, ROM here, so uh, bear with me. But uh, this is the first time we've just uh, performed, got this over from a hard reset, and there's your new Windows screen instead of green. It's got, and this is now, I mean, it's still called Windows Mobile, but phones that will be operating on the Windows Mobile 6.5 OS will be called Windows Phone. So, it's kind of a confusing thing. Let's see if we can get all the screen there while this is booting up here, as you can see. It says, preparing your phone for first use, the Today screen will be displayed when this process is complete. So we've got every bit of the screen there, just barely. I will also be demonstrating 6.5 on the HTC Pure, which is going to be the uh, AT&T branded version of this exact device, the Touch Diamond 2. Uh, so I'll probably, I mean, this uh, video won't air until October 6th when Windows Mobile 6.5 is official. And uh, you'll see this video as well as some others and some commentary from a couple uh, other staff members at Mobility Site that have been running official and or unofficial 6.5 ROMs. <clears throat> on that subject, I tend to shy away from running anything but official ROMs on my devices that I'm going to use day to day. Okay, looks like we're getting somewhere. This is uh, actually taking quite a while here. It's possible that I might fast forward this video when I produce it, but uh, I don't know. I could tell you more about what is Mobile 6.5. If you've seen the videos out there, uh, there's the the operating the Windows Mobile 6.5 OS is kind of an interim in between what we had with 6.1 and what is rumored to be coming with 7 which is a radically different uh, more not from the ground up but <clears throat> uh, a different OS and this is uh, probably looking at that next year I don't know anything official on that but this OS um, is supposed to be more touch friendly it also includes a new version of the uh, Internet Explorer that allows flash. I mean, it's kind of like Opera. Uh, you'll you'll be able to see instead of the Pi Pocket Internet Explorer that you're used to, that doesn't really show the whole internet per se. The thing that the iPhone takes so proud to show the real internet. Uh, this version of the browser does. So I'll tell you why that's loading. I'm running Windows Mobile Shell on this device here. And this is what part of Windows Mobile 6.5 looks like. This is the uh, program screen. Earlier pictures that leaked had a honeycomb background that uh, kind of framed all these icons and people were calling it a honeycomb screen. But this has been changed a little bit here and you know you can set your own backgrounds or whatever. So, But looks like we're still not done here. Um, just to uh, understand this, the time it's taken for this to do this, this is the initial startup for the very first time of this device. And I'm going to get you a little better view angle there so you don't see my camera the whole time in it. <clears throat> Bear with me on this video. I am totally apologetic for how long this is taking here. But we'll see what happens. Um, one thing that I will say that I like about Windows Mobile 6.5 is it's got a um, and I don't, I'm not sure if this is an HTC thing but I believe it's part of the OS where it actually you'll see it in a minute here it actually asks what carrier you're on and it does all the setup so you don't have to go in and put the password and for whatever carrier you're on GSM USA carriers although this is a European model of this phone and we will not be able to get edge or um, 
3G on the edge on this. So right here we have a connection set up. Multiple connection settings were found. Please select one. AT&T, track phone, voice wireless, or ZTAR mobile. We're going to pick AT&T. <clears throat> this doesn't take very long, and this should be the last step in our procedure here. I wish there was a way I could get you a better look at the screen so you can read it a lot better. All right, now it's wanting to tell us how to uh, use the on-screen keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and skip over that. Select Wi-Fi network. It says connecting Wi-Fi may improve the speed, blah, blah, blah. I'll say, okay, I've got Wi-Fi here. Might as well, right? Uh, it's seeing my, it's seeing a neighbor's router, and it's seeing my router. Mine is a much stronger signal, so let's pick that and hit next. And what do we got here? Google location terms. Da, da, da. I'll agree, whatever. We're not going to read all that, are we? Set up accounts. We can set up Outlook, Gmail, AOL. I'm going to skip this for now. Because I'm not going to be testing it on this phone. Uh, Windows Mobile 6.5, I'll be doing my tests on the AT&T Pure. Okay, so we're going to hit finish here. Okay, it has touch flow on top of it. By default on the ROM, <clears throat> we can turn that off, which I will do here. Let's go to, I'm going to set this back down so you don't get that wobbly. Go uh, set up. I'm not sure where it's at on here. Okay, I want to go to this setup, which is going to take me right back there. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm not 100% sure where that's at right now, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this and come back in just a minute after I find the setting in here on how to turn touch flow off within the today screen, or to where it brings up just the everyday today screen. Okay, I, I, um, I'm trying to watch this through a viewfinder and touching like this while I'm actually looking at the viewfinder. I'm going to get a better angle where I can actually see what I'm doing here. But anyway, what I was looking for is all settings. should take us to where I can hit the today icon there. And there we go. And I'm going to go to items. And we're going to turn HTC Sense off and hit Windows Default. Hit OK. Get out of there. It's probably going to take, there we go. Now we have Windows Mobile 6.5. And it's showing, what time did it say it was? 6.32 on 3.10. Wow, that's an interesting date. I guess it didn't pick up network time. But anyway, you see you can slide up and down here and uh, move through this. Or you can go fast as you want or slow as you want. As you can see, I can go real slow or real fast. But anyway, so if you get like, uh, let's go up here to pictures, or like, let's go to getting started. You can get this tab off of here. It'll ask to get, where did it go? There it goes. <laughs> okay, so it says set clock. You can scroll right to left here. Actually, let's go left. Now, once you set email up, and you want to set up your device lock password, then it wants you to set up Bluetooth background, ringtone, music, transfer into music, done, remove the getting started. Click on that and it should get rid of that that, oh, it didn't work, I didn't hit the right sequence there. Add, da, to add or remove the getting started from the today screen it's not letting me take it off. Oh, add or remove. Okay, there we go. It took it off now. And we'll go back to the home. And it's not there anymore, as you can see. So anyway, um, I'm going to bring you more video of the Windows Mobile 6.5 OS once I, uh, well, not once I uh, film it, but uh, I'm going to pull out and charge up the HTC Pure and let that be since I can actually use Edge or uh, 3G and it is a the ROM on the Pure unlike this one this one is ready for market but the ROM on the Pure is the most recent 6.5 build and it's ready I mean it's going to be a retail 
ROM. So I mean, it's going to be what's people are going to buy on October 6th from AT&T. So anyway, Chris Lightness, MobilitySite.com. Thanks for watching.